Well, this is part two of my Radio Shack Golden Arrow uh, project. I was going to build at least two Golden Arrows, um, as I do have th uh, three that I started out with. However, um, one of the chassis I discovered on the front end in this area was cracked sort of an angle and it was twisted and there was no way to really fix that well so it left me with uh, what I thought oh, I thought I had two chassis left well upon discovery of my nearly mint golden arrow I, I found that on a big chip in the chassis down there where the battery lid goes in so that was uh, going to be a problem so so consequently I only have one good chassis left um, but plenty of parts to build a second one at least but I'll have to get a hold of a good chassis with uh, it's of course either a golden arrow or a compatible um, so that was I was going to go ahead and do two but now it looks like for now I'm just gonna do one so but at least I got a nice body on this one um, that I'll use so basically the idea is to build uh, a buggy with era specific uh, motor um, and put RC electronics in it, a hobby grade RC electronics and modern 2.2 tires and just the purpose of putting the modern tires is uh, to handle the increased performance of the motor. Um, it's an epic, Trinity epic, um, ball bearing 27 turn uh, stock motor. It's called an X-Stock. Uh, a fairly nice motor. Of course it's discontinued. It's, uh, I believe it's the part number is 1167. Sometimes they're they get sold on eBay, brand new in the package, but a little bit rare, um, but very era specific. Um, done a little bit of custom work, gold arrows on each wheel. So, one thing I've been working on that I had to order the tools to do is I got a threading die, um, an M5 bolt. It was 140 millimeters long and I replaced the suspension shaft here. It's a hex screw. Threaded it down to where it needed to be and uh, cut the end off. But it rides on solid shaft. It's not threaded. Only on the end. And it's a nylon insert. Uh, lock nut. So there you go. It's it's just it's just a brushed motor, but a very good brushed motor. So it's going to increase the speed significantly from the original uh, 540 Mabushi. Um, I've got to me a frog wheel adapters fitted the HPI Ultra 7 wheels, Schumacher cat block tires with uh, J Concepts profiled uh, inserts. Um, basically have rebuilt the gearbox um, ball bearings. So Um, as far as the steering goes, I'm going to use a high-tech Mighty Mini. It's going to mount right in the middle. I'm going to use titanium uh, turnbuckles. 
I don't know what length I'm going to need yet. I'm not going to know until I get um, everything set up. So it may take me a bit longer to complete this project because of that, the steering. Um, but um, gearbox is all ready to go. It's all greased up. Motors installed. Um, Um, I'll be using a high-tech Ranger 2 stick radio. And I'll mount the receiver in here. There was a post in there, kind of hard to tell, but I had to take that out. This receiver is pretty large, but it's what I have, and I'll, I want to use that radio in this, uh, in this buggy. Um, I've got this is an HPI SC15 I ordered uh, brand new um, on this I've converted it to Dean's plug for the battery um, and I took off the original uh, that came the power switch that came with, with the ESC and I put it to the original type golden arrow switch. That's not the original golden arrow switch, um, but it's a brand new one. I think it came off of, um, I forget, I had it, it may have been off of like a, a battery switch box or something for a Tamiya uh, radio system or a Fataba. Yeah, Fataba. Um, just a basic universal switch, but it fits it's the same exact thing. Um, one thing I I think I I test well I've tested this ESC um, on the motor before I installed it into the gearbox on the gearbox, but and it works perfectly itself. Uh, it does the neutral point uh, for the motor and the controller. But, uh, automatically it sets everything as automatic um, but one thing that's disappointing is that the heat sink on this ESC like it would fall off and stuff after I got it and I opened it up the package and I was just checking it out so I put some very thin um, aluminum tape around it like two wraps it's very thin but it's not too thick, so it's just to hold the the heat sink on there. And it's, I perfectly aligned it, um, but and I was just I had liked the this ESC because it's automatic. You don't have to do anything but hook it up. So. Um, We'll see how the performance is. The test, um, of course, it's a no-load test that I did just to see how it functioned. It seemed like it was going to be fine. It seemed like uh, the motor was very torquey with it. So, um, shouldn't have any problems. Uh, hopefully, it's not going to... Plus, it's rated down to 15 turn motor for 540 size. I think if it's a 550 size, it's to 17 turn. Um, so it's only a 27 turn uh, Epic, Trinity Epic, but shouldn't have any heat issues at all with it. I wouldn't think so. So, yeah. Um, but my axle shafts, they're they're from a, a Traxxas, uh, well, I didn't pull them from, I got them, I got them brand new. Um, they're for a Traxxas Cat or Spirit. Um, the bevels, it's like the part where it goes, they, they cut out to fit into the differential gears. Um, the bevel, it need to be uh, shaved like uh, a tenth of a millimeter off which isn't very much. It's just a little bit of sanding. And they plugged right into the uh, differential gears very easily, the housings there. Um, 
and all ball bearings all the way through so yeah this thing ought to work pretty sweet when it's all done um, the steering is the only thing I have to order uh, the turnbuckles for um, I've already got the ball lengths so really shouldn't have any really too many issues um, as everyone knows on these golden arrows the, the springs are very uh, hard um, I have a set of front well I'll, I'll use them for the rear because of the same length um, I've got parts for my uh, Radio Shack Black Phantom and the, the front springs on the Black Phantom will they fit the rear of the Golden Arrow, only they're softer, they're not as nearly as hard. So to help prevent um, bent axles, I'm going to swap out the hard springs and uh, put those other ones in there. Um, I've test fitted them already. Um, so the fronts, I'll probably keep on there. Um, unless I can find some softer ones but they don't have much travel anyway on the front so the rear don't really either but if I can soften it up a little in the rear that'd be good that might help prevent uh, axle shaft from bending so um, that's pretty much all I've got so far but the rest should assemble pretty fast. Uh, I'm looking forward to test running this thing, but it's it's going to be a little while because of the steering. So, but other than that, I am making progress. Gearbox very simple to uh, rebuild. Um, on the on the gear the differential gear um, it's got like three rivets on there well they're they're, they're kind of like a rivets so they're like they're like you smash the end of one side of it and it's got the two metal plates in the differential gear well I took those uh, rivet type uh, screws out and I replaced them with M3 uh, screws and lock nuts and uh, so I could disassemble and re-lube if I have to so that's also uh, something I've done that allows me to be able to uh, service it better along with the suspension shaft so alright uh, if you have any questions or comments um, feel free to leave them I'll help anybody out that uh, I can help out so uh, anyways uh, until the next time uh, thanks for watching